And right now we are getting reaction from a former assistant U.S. attorney with extensive public corruption experience. He says today's indictment of Jeffrey Vampy is uh, surprising for a number of reasons. Rob Masson has that. And John and Liz, former assistant U.S. attorney Matt Komen says that former interim police superintendent Michelle Woodfork will likely be called as a witness since the indictment lays out allegations that she was told she would not get the permanent superintendent job because she allegedly would not make the public integrity investigation into Jeffrey Vappi go away. The indictment says shortly after sustaining the internal investigation findings against Vappi, acting at the direction of public official one, believed to be Mayor Cantrell, the interim superintendent, Woodfork, reassigned Vappi back to the executive protection unit. The indictment also alleges that public official one informed the interim superintendent during an in-person meeting that she would not become the permanent superintendent. It goes on to say that Jeffrey Vappi attended that meeting. What was surprising, at least to my eyes, was the reference to the interim superintendent uh, in that, from what we see, the public official number one uh, weighed in on and had a meeting specifically about someone she was having an affair with, who had then suffered uh, some PIB citation and disciplinary action, and that, that was part and parcel of whether or not the interim superintendent was going to stay on the job. Matt Komen says that public official one is not specifically named because those are the rules of the Justice Department. He says a person can only be named in an indictment if that person has already been proven guilty. John.